Hello and welcome back to our Judea campaign in Imperator Rome. Oh, things are going well. Beating Egypt, developing my country, earning some manpower. It's all going very nicely. Uh, I don't want to become friends with the Sofet of Arados. No, I would like the popularity. Thank you very much. So, yeah, Egypt's still at war with Cyrenaica. They've got a bunch of friends, but those friends are not important. Uh, Phrygia is... I mean, they're not doing phenomenally well when it comes to their loyalty. Um, Seleucids are doing much, much better. Uh, we can take Moses. I'm going to take Moses. I like the manpower recovery speed. I like the provincial investment. That seems like a really good option to me. So now I've got a free investment. I'm going to pop it in Judea and... I think I'm going to go with some more population output, honestly. That might be a good idea. Yes. So we're going to do that. Lehian, we're, we're happy enough with him. He's fine. We also have uh, Oros Chorib. We now own this, the Shrine of Moses. So now we own this. That is why we could have put uh, an, something in the empty altar. Or we could turn it into a city. And uh, we can, you know, get two. Unfortunately, I don't actually have anything new. Um, I can't remove these from the reliquary. That's unfortunate, but what we could possibly do in the future is find one of these that has something in the reliquary. I'm not sure if I'm able to see what else is in there, honestly. And uh, we can sack them. So next time I go to war with uh, Phrygia, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sack... Leontopolis, Heliopolis, and Memphis, and see if we can't grab some uh, some stuff from there. So, discreditable dalliance, uh, we'll spend the money. There we go. See, I've got Judea, and there is a couple of things we know that are, are in there. Local tax and local population growth. Those do actually come from here, so I can tell what's in these. So, if we also look at Leontopolis... Uh, that's got nothing in it. Heliopolis has got population capacity and Freeman output. And then Memphis has local monthly food modifier. And then Alexandria has manpower and research points. So, that's good to know. Lictopolis, have you got anything? No. Oh, my enemies have have risen troops against me. This is sad, sad times. Um... So Hebron is Jewish, Jerusalem is Jewish, uh, that's Jewish, that's Jewish, that's Jewish, we've got Kadasa, that's Jewish, Zantopolis is Canaanite, and I'm afraid that's not good enough. We're going to be, um, no, we're not friends with the Canaanites, I will definitely pay two aggressive expansion and one year of negative unrest. So yeah, the holy site in Zenopolis will be uh, destroyed. Uh, goodbye. Some soon, no one will remember L. Yeah, that's right. That is right. We have got Tyrus here as well. It's a Canaanite place for Melkart. Let's go and fix that right up. Um, he's stolen my shit. I'll just flog him up. Um, so Tyrus, do you have anything in here? Nope. Sidon. Nope. Desecrate that. Fuck Melkart and Eshman. Eshman as well can be uh, can be removed. Desecrate the holy sites. Fantastic. Now there's Gabal, which of course we will sack as well. Palmyra is Arabic holy site. We'll eventually sack that. Basically, we're going to sack everything that isn't um, Jewish in our nation. Alath is Arabic, so we're going to go and sack that in a moment. Let me just grab this guy and put him... No, 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 whoa, 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 I don't want to do that. It's a Jewish holy site. So we're going to drill that army. Uh, these 4K can get themselves down to Aleph. Some prosperity would be nice. I'm going to go with stability. Let's see, is there any laws that I might want to pass? Do I need a philosopher? Uh, we're going to need a Kalatha. Uh, you're not terrible, I'm going to go with you. We have the head of the Nicolats, the head of the Kalathas, 
both quite unhappy with us. That is actually kind of significant. 37% of the power base is disloyal. Aha. Uh -huh. Judah, Judah we can fix. You're a governor. Your corruption is awful. But we can bribe you. You are the governor of Lower Egypt. Um, I think actually, no, you're not. We're going to put uh, a different Judah in charge there, I think. Although you are a Nicolaet. So maybe we'll go with a different Nicolaet. There we go. That's much better. We need a religious advances guy. We'll go with Levi. That sounds good to me. And I don't think there's anything new. Although we're about to get some new religious stuff. None of that seems actually that useful, actually. So maybe not. So yeah, I think I think that was a good idea. All right, we're going to sack this place as well. Kachow. No one will remember Al Kut Bay. There really should be an achievement for sacking uh, a bunch of cities as well, honestly. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, into Lower Egypt, conquer Central Delta. I want those missions before we move on. This army, at some point, I will turn into a proper army, a proper standing um, 40k. Popularity sounds nice. Let's start. Oh, hello. What's this? You've got another revolt? Now that's just funny. I wonder how many men the revolt has. 1k. You'd be alright. Start building you up. So I want a couple more light cav. I want... Is it four? Four supply trains. We're going to leave the heavy infantry for now. Uh, oh, Egypt has attacked Arados. So we're at war again. Well, good sir, we, we think we know exactly what's going to happen here, don't we? We're going to go and... Uh, we need a general first. Yusuf. God, you're just really bad. Hang on. Characters. Uh, male. Unemployed. Sort there. Yeah, we just don't have a whole lot of characters. Um, maybe technology. What are you? Six? That's fucking awful as well. You're a minor character, so I'm going to turn you into a seven. Um... What about my government? We've got a 9 and an 8. So the 9 I'm going to switch out for another Zadokite, who's perhaps not as good. You! And then the Zadokite that we just got rid of is going to go here. He's got Octarium Discipline. He's got less enslavement efficiency. So he's not amazing, but his loyalty is still good enough to work. So now we're going to have you march south. So the plan here is I want to get to Leontopolis. Not Leontopolis. I want to get to Heliopolis and sack it. That's my goal for this campaign. As in this campaign season, not like this, you know, YouTube campaign. But the, the war against Arados is going to end pretty soon. Or the Aridosi revolt. Really? I can't go that way? Is this really the, the fastest way here? You stay away from my city, bitch. Leon, Heliop is it Heliopolis? Yes, Heliopolis. Alright, I see they've got an army. This 7k I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Can arrive on the 8th of November. Let's start, slow down to speed 4. 8th of November. We have not arrived yet. It's going to take me another year? What, what's going on here? It's actually the 9th of November. It lied to me. Whatever, we're going to Heliopolis. You can wait. So I'm going to sack the shit out of this. 3 stability sounds nice. I'm like, what, what really can Egypt do about this? It's too late. Uh, too late infantry? Sure, I'll take it for now. And we're going to sack your city. <laughs> so, what that has done is given me 
two more things, the Ben Ben Stone and the Flamino Obelisk. How lovely. Uh, now, what we're going to do is go and kill your army. I don't think I need to worry about anything in the north. How about you just go and siege that from Egypt? Uh, that's a good boy. Mm, still got armies around the place. You just get stack wiped immediately. Now we're going to attack you. You're in the marsh. So you're not gonna you're not gonna enjoy this. Oh, love it. Love it. Fantastic. Alright, now what we're gonna do is kill this 7k. It's full of cavalry. Can I force march onto it? Apparently yes. You were a little bit too slow there. Although he tried to envelop me with 7k. I mean, I, I guess it sort of worked. So if I check the religious map mode now, there is nothing there in Heliopolis. I'm going to do the same in Leontopolis right now. It's going to be glorious. Alright, so as soon as you've finished that, you're also going to siege Gabal. The civil war is about to be over. Leontopolis is pillaged. Two extra light have sure. Sorry, light infantry, I should say. Uh, hey, by the way, desecrate your holy site. <laughs> All right, so Memphis, we know that you have some shit as well. I want that shit, so let's go siege Memphis. Considering as eighty-nine cohorts, I have absolutely no idea where they are. The Aridosi revolts gone. Should be. Should be gone. Yes, it's gone. Good. I'm just worried that soon enough we're going to see coming over the hills like a, a horde of Egyptians and it's going to be filth. Absolute filth. But we got a ton of money. I'm quite happy. But yeah, Memphis we want to sack as well. Uh, let me just check a second. So, the Shrine of Jericho. That's up here, just north of Jerusalem. I want to put some stuff in here. Freeman output, pop cap. Let's put some pop cap... And let's also put some Freeman output. No, let's not put the Freeman output. I'm going to put the Freeman output down in Oris Chorib. Yeah. We're going to turn this into a Freeman zone. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. And instead, you're going to have a training camp and a forum. This uh, province of Sinai is going to be full of barracks. It's going to be full of forums and, and those... Training camps, it's gonna be it's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be manpower heavy. It's obviously not gonna have a whole lot of pops because I mean it's just the way that you know it's a bunch of deserts and hills like what you expect. But it's gonna be glorious and in so far as I can I can make it glorious. We're gonna try. Don't worry about it. It's fine, you can be fine. So firstly, Memphis, you need to fall. Uh when you fall, manpower plus five percent, okay, that's gonna go in Oris Chorib as well. That is definitely going to be there. You are currently crossing a strait to siege a city. Well, as soon as we finished our siege, my army is going to come back and hit you in the butt. And there's nothing you can do about it. 1k on 74 boats did, for a moment, scare me. I thought it was going to be uh, quite worrying, but apparently not. Uh, this army, I want you to come down here just in case you want to do something... A little bit sneaky. I don't know what you'd want to do. But just in case. Also, I'm going to lose this siege race. I can tell. I can just tell already. I am just... I'm that unlucky. There's a bitter feud between my sons. Ugh, whatever. As long as the good son wins, I don't care. All right, come on. Finally. Two more light infantry. Uh, sure. And we're also going to desecrate the holy site. And now we need to march our way up to... Uh, is that the best way to go? Yeah, fuck it. It's fine. There's a road most of the way. You're trying to run away, which makes sense. I would run away if I was you. Siege of Gabal has been won. Very nice indeed. I know he wants Gabal, but so do I. Maybe what I can do is go to Ostrakine, and uh, 
he might want to try and attack into the marsh again with his rather larger than our army. I would very much like that if he did that. Oh, another civil war. Canius Lagniniat. Can I make you happy? Yes, I think I can. You can have a holding in tennis. There you go. Stop being a dick. And Mr. Kalatha, I can probably make you... You've already got 21 holdings. If I give you more holdings, you're just gonna fuck me. Why are you pissed? Outraged aristocrat. Well... What? Where did that come from? Must be a modifier in the country? No. I don't know where that comes from. Alright, looks like he's not coming this way. So I'm going to go back to Leontopolis, and then I'm going to try and siege the, the port of Diospolis Cato. Di Diospolis, whatever. Something along those lines. Uh, this army wants to be regional. This army, I could probably... Oh, hello, I killed someone. Uh, I could probably swing uh, getting a, a real army out of that right now. Uh, you've got no corruption, eight finesse. I think that's a good idea. You've got very low morale. <laughs> More light infantry. I'm just creating light infantry out of thin air. Have you go back? We're gonna go and siege up here. Why don't you desiege this first? Actually, stay here a second. Siege that. Uh, legitimacy for money. I'm going to take that because my legitimacy is rather low right now. I think it might be a decent idea. And then you're going to run away to Ostrakeen. Um, war exhaustion. Eh, none of these are really that good. Sacrifice the gods cost, maybe. But I think I can do without... Continue doing what we're doing, I think. Yeah, siege this. I mean, we've got plenty of food, so even if he takes this back, which he's totally doing right now, I think we're still going to be okay. I'm just worried that he's going to merge his armies and attack me. And I'm in a marsh. I think that's exactly what he's doing. That's 27k. 43k total. Uh, take another military tradition. Ship damage done. Eh, I want to get down to here, though. We'll, we'll take this after we've finished our war. You can stockpile up to 200, so that's not going to be a problem. You can just do some of that. You can also do some of that. This war is going well so far. Arados is currently at uh, plus 36 war score. I am going to give this to them. I'm going to give this to them after I've gotten Central Delta. Then he can have it. Because right now, like, if I do that now, he's probably just going to peace out and I'm going to get Bibulus. And I want more than Bibulus. He'd actually probably also give me uh, Memphis, which is nice of him. But I want this at the very least and Memphis. Come on, win the siege. Hey, Eridus actually got an army down here. Doing well. Damn. Pretty pretty decent uh, results there. Now, we're going to be attacked by this army. It shouldn't be a problem. We are in the marsh, but I feel like we're going to be okay anyway. Oh, negative two. Ugh, filth. We still win, but yeah, it's much more painful than it had any right to be. Lost 8,000 men. If only he'd been a little bit slower. Right, so we're going to go and take Leontopolis. And then I'm probably going to pass him that land in the north. Then if he wants to peace out, then that's cool. Then we are totally fine with this set of circumstances. Right gonna give you this now. Feel free to peace out. 
I want to also kill this. That's a stack wipe. Oh, you didn't fucked up there, son. I'm gonna go over here. He's got low morale. He's got low morale. He's gonna attack me here. Oh, beautiful. Some great battles there. Just awesome. Alright, let's go and stack some more cities. Alexandria is obviously the prize, but I don't think I'm getting this in this war. Plus my army does need to reinforce just a wee bit. But hey, slaves slaves first, you know. Slaves are good. I like slaves. And before YouTube uh, bans me for that. <laughs> Oh, they totally would as well. That's the sad thing. All right, continue the sieges. Coming of the city of Oros Chorib. Lovely. That means I can go to Oros uh, Chorib, which is right here, and I can pop in... Not that one. I want the other one. It's the one in Alexandria that I want. Maybe we should go for Alexandria now. We're on full food. Let's go for it. We'll give it a fucking good... Good old whack, won't we? If we even just set foot on Alexandria, there's a 100% chance that uh, Egypt is going to be absolutely done with our shit and want to peace out. I think I can get you here. Look at you with your low-ass morale. Force marching into a fort, that seems like a, a really stupid idea. Stack wipe, what? How does that not a stack wipe? Come on. My dude. Why can't I go here? If I'm here, what fort is stopping me from marching on Sharayan? Nothing. Whatever, I'm going, I'm going to uh, here. Everything is going swimmingly. I'm very happy. Stability, thank you. Uh, apparently my wife has died. I have a ton of kids, so I don't want kids. What I want is someone like you, but with good stats across the board, because I'm pretty trash. Uh, 7862, uh, that's good. What's your health at? Your health's at 54, you'll do. You're not worth that much. She's how, how she was 74 for fuck's sake. Like, come off it. 174 ducats, fine. You absolute knob. Anyway, that's that sorted. Oh, now I've got cancer. Well, sadness. F's in chat for my dude. Oh no, don't take that. I need that. I really do need that. Please don't take that. Knob. Knob. Absolute knob. Actually, you can keep that, can't you? I want you to go and take that back. Minor addendum, more stability. I'm gonna get attacked here, but I've got friends. We're, why are you running away? We can win! We have the tactic! He has the numbers, but we have the tactic! And you're coming in with another 30,000, which immediately break! <laughs> We're gonna win! We're gonna win, and this... This war, this battle is going to read as being so unbelievably one-sided. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. That is so good. Yes. That's a Prince Green. <laughs> Worth every second of that battle. That was, that was fucking beautiful. That was amazing. Just 
kept pissing in reinforcements and they just did not work. Tell you what, if I'd taken that military tradition, we probably would have lost that. We were very much on edge when it came to uh, morale. But hey, I'm just going to take me some slaves. No longer getting wine. Well, that's rude. How about some olives from Cyrenaica? Love it. Come on, take this. Oh, God damn it. Now I have to keep running around, stopping him from sieging me. I need to take this so I can attack this, kill this, and then we're good and we can peace. Make peace. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck you. Alexandra, you have to fall, you prick. Before these armies regain their morale. Yeah, two, two Marshall, and you're married to no one, so you've got god awful uh, army recovery speed. The morale recovery speed, I should say. But there's Alexandria gone. There's Alexandria sacked. And now this army's going to die. Didn't kill it all the way, but that's fine. And then Oris Chorib. We're going to look at the Temple of Oris Chorib. It's going to be a Freeman area. And it's going to be the Panoply of Alexander for local man power. But oomph. Uh, this one is Jericho. Local research points. Sounds good to me. Nice. Nice. All right, you got to be really fucking, uh, hang on, you, you here have got to be really generous to me. Like, how much are you personally winning by? 68 war score. That's, uh, I'm going to say that's pretty damn good, and you are welcome. All right, I'm going to go back to my own territory and recover just a little bit. You know, your organization would be pretty nice at this point. We'll see. The Calithid army has stood down. That's good. You need to reorganize. And we'll see what this uh, this guy decides to give me. Like, personally, I think I deserve all of the land. He probably thinks otherwise. There's the conquest of Memphis. Okay, so he didn't give me the capital, but he did give me Memphis and Central Delta. That's awesome. The great city of Memphis has finally fallen to our troops and it's now in our hands. Memphis was the ancient capital of the Egyptians, an important center for commerce and religion. Throughout most of Egyptian history, it played an important role between Upper and Lower Egypt, severing the link that is only the first of many steps in taking control of the area. With the city under our control, blah de blah de blah So if I sack the crap out of it, I get some taxes and money. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna leave it unharmed. No, we got we gotta we gotta do a little bit of murder, right? Because if you believe the stories about Moses coming out of Egypt with the dudes, part in the Red Sea, walking across all that garbage, right? Uh, then like we gotta do a little bit of damage back to them, right? It's Egypt, gotta gotta kill some people. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, uh, yeah, you're gonna stay doing that. Uh, I have now oh I now own. Memphis, it's glorious, and Judea is snake. Really? Why did you give me this? What's wrong with you? Not with this, not yet. Uh, fine, I'll build a fort. I guess it makes sense now I control the entirety of the access between, uh, you know, the Med and the Red. Yeah. Um, so I guess that sort of makes sense, but I still didn't need it. Anyway, we're going to try and culture convert this. Um, it's going to take a long time. So we're going to build some buildings and sack some buildings and, and do some damage and all that kind of good shit. Yeah, Arados got his, his, his stuff back. That's good. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is take a short break here. I'm going to fix what we've just taken. Buildings and all that stuff. We've got 1455 ducats. We'll be able to do a little bit of damage with that. And uh, yeah, I'll fix all that up and get back to you in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.